Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're doing the cardigan haul or knitwear sweater cardigan haul today. It's just crazy. Like honestly, you guys, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I would either exhaust or my battery exhaust or something is gonna like die before I'm able to show you guys everything I got. Um, I try to categorize them a little bit to give myself some type of organization, but it's still kind of insane. So I've categorized into like cashmere sweaters, um, sweaters. I was gonna do a Peter Pan, Peter Pan collar style, but I kind of now lump them into like the type with just like, you know, regular sweater where you just put your head through. Um, I guess I can divide it out to make a Peter Pan series. And then I have like, cardigan coats. I actually only got this one knit coat, so I guess it's not a category, but it's a long knit coat that I got. I really like it. I got knit vest. I've got cardigans. Um, I've got like sweater dresses. It's just like crazy. So I'll, like I said, I'll do what I can. I'll pick my favorite pieces and then if not, I'll divide it into two parts if that's really needed, but we'll see. And for today's video, I'm gonna feature my saddlebag and my cute Le Bambino bag just to make the outfit more fun. And let's start with, I don't know if my other sweater piles are kind of blocking the view, but I'm gonna start with this one here, which is, and I'll carry my saddlebag with this outfit. It's just a um, jumpsuit. This jumpsuit is $12.99, which is insane. Like I just, it's um I think it's super perfect for like right now working from home. You just like it's just one piece and then you can just like make it super comfortable. Um I still think where the design for the waistline is perfect. I actually got two knit jumpsuit one it's in the in the wash right now, so I won't show you guys, but essentially I'm pairing with also the Zara boots that I got this round. So super nice. And I'll just basically change it between the outfits and then try to um, edit them all together. So this is the first one. All right, so the first one here is this balloon sleeve Peter Pan collar um, sweater. It's in this kind of tan caramel color, very beautiful fall uh, or spring, I guess. It's very kind of girly and feminine. I paired with this fall leather pleated skirt also from this round of sale and just the same boots. I think the color, the cut is quite flattering and um, not something everyone would like, but it's somewhat more fitted on the body, unlike a lot of the other balloon sleeve uh, sweaters. So I personally find it really cute and very feminine. That's the first one. The second one, you guys probably saw me wear on my uh, unboxing video for the Dior saddle bag. It's just this balloon sleeve, um, beige beige color sweater it's actually quite popular on instagram you do see it quite often on other pictures it's just a very nice um silhouette that they design and it was repeated in different colors and i think they repeatedly uh release them so a really nice easy one it's not a high collar which i like because i find i have too many turtlenecks and um very similar to one of my other sweater but i still really like it so also my second one so the third one is this limited edition balloon sleeve cardigan. It's in this cute, very beautiful blue teal color with um, sort of a darker color button design. Um, when I actually wear it, I might not necessarily pair with this skirt, but I do find the button kind of okay um, in terms of color tone to pair with this skirt. Uh, I really love the look of this cardigan, like the, the cut of it. Um, the little design on even just the uh, the end of your sleeve, you know, it's kind of in this ruffle, ruffle um, design all over. At the end too, it's, you have this scallop um, shape design at the end of the at the end of the sweater, the cardigan. So it's really really cute. Um, it's not the most soft to the skin, but it doesn't really bother me. You can wear another um, shirt, t long sleeve T-shirt inside if you like. But overall, it doesn't bother me, and I really like um, how it looks. I like the length of it too, so I think it's quite flattering because it does give you a nice ratio to your body. So really, really cute. 
can't wait to wear this one more often. I am mixing stuff up, but one of my favorites this round as well. I also love this next one, which is has a cutout design at the shoulder here. Super, um, super beautiful chunky knit um, details. And it's a little bit, you have a little bit of a turtleneck, but it's, um, it's not too high, it's not too long. It is a, on a tighter side. Um, super comfortable to the skin. I love it, but I just wear it directly under my, uh, over my skin. And again, pairing with the same thing with, um, with the Dior bag, I think it's perfect. Really like the look of it. I think, again, it's one of those pieces that you might not be able to wear for work just because the cutout design, but on a day out or on a weekend, it's just super comfortable, very, um, very easy to pair in terms of the creamy color and just the, the very in like knit, chunky knit um, design of the sweater. One of my favorite this round too. So this one is also one of my favorite cardigan this round. Um, it's in this very beautiful chunky knit. This is a size small, so it's designed to be very, very oversized. But I think this one is also quite really, really soft to your skin, so you can wear it directly on your skin. And I just love the details on the sleeve. The balloon sleeve is really cute. Um, it has very beautiful design on the buttons. Um, my actually missing one of the pearls, but I think I can fix that. Um, anyways, I think it's just really cute overall. It's quite flattering in terms of just like overall uh, oversized look. Um, yeah, really like, it's really comfortable. Super cute. Next one, also quite popular on Instagram, it has this beautiful jewel designed bow as a button. Um, and it has this extremely large balloon sleeve. Um, this one is in the pale green color, but I think they also launched recently in different colors as well. Um, it's again, just one of those really oversized cardigans. It also came with an, uh, a matching crop top but I didn't end up getting that. I just decided that I don't really need it, the set. Um, but I really like the top itself. I really like the balloon sleeve. I'm super into balloon sleeves. That's why it's really cute. This one ended up being a size medium, so it is slightly large. I would probably prefer a small, um, but I think it's really cute. Again, more on the feminine, girly side of things, but. Um, not the most soft to the skin, but I think it's okay. Like if you're wearing, it's better than the the ruffle blue one that I showed you. But again, not the most soft ones that you can use. This next one is one with a lot of alpaca wool in it. Um, it has drop shoulders, a lot of really small, like nice details on the on the sweater itself. I find Zara they tend to launch this. Um, this, how do you say, like they have the one with a lot of lace on it, with all the ruffle on it. So every season I've noticed there's one or two very similar um, type in this kind of cream beige color. Um, I think they're all somewhat similar. Not sure that you need to get one from every season, but I really like this one and it's quite soft and comfortable to the skin. Definitely not one that you want to be throwing in your wash because I think it will fall apart because the way that's knit together, you will see if you get one. Um, but it's really cute. Again, I think it's one of those fall, winter, you know, for holidays and things like that. It would really work really nice. Very cute. So the next one is another one with a Peter Pan collar. Uh, this one also is more like a fitted type, which is great because I feel like I don't have enough of those in my, in my wardrobe. This one with a little like details on the sleeve, which I really like. So you could almost use the collar and the sleeve and wear something on top of it if that's what you choose to do. But overall, I really like it. Really cute and color is quite neutral. Um, anyways, one of my favorite as well this round. I feel like my description are getting shorter and shorter for each piece. I do apologize because I'm trying to get through as many as I possibly can. This one is quite, um, you can often see it on Instagram. I got this one and also the beige one as well. Um, at their price point, I think they're just like $9 or something. It's crazy, like it's a no-brainer. Love the uh, design of the shoulder pads. 
um, if you are like me with not a super elongated neckline you could choose to add in a chain um, necklace which I do and I just don't have one with me right here but I won't show you in both color because I have the other beige one which is I think even more um, often seen so I'll probably wear that one for another recording video but I love this one I think it's a really easy uh, when you want to make a statement or when you want to look a little bit more edgy or fashionable I think this is a great piece to have this next one I also really love and I think I've shown in my very first Zara haul video but that video the exposure was wrong so um, I think it was like really really pale it actually has a lot of beautiful beautiful chunky design to the sweater um, and obviously this chain neckline is very unique um, I mean I don't know if it's unique I do see them in a lot of other sweaters as well but um, the material is really really nice it is again not one of those soft ones um, that to wear right on your skin but you can feel it's very well made and um, it's gonna be very very warm to be wearing in the middle of winter it is in this more chunkier look like chunky um, oversized look but I think it's also uh, it does look a bit more expensive I think the original price is a bit more expensive so also really like this one so the next one again is another Peter Pan collar um, feature one I actually really love this one really soft to the skin and I think for whatever reason it just doesn't feel like it's very girly and very feminine but I just love the overall color look I love the little design on the sleeve this is a size small and it is already quite large so um, you definitely want to like tuck it in it's more simple like it doesn't have all the chunky complex design as all the other um, ones from this season but I just think it's very clean um, and more crisp looking with a little like stitch design on the on the collar um, very comfortable to the skin so definitely something you don't need to wear anything underneath but again, one of my really favorite um, pieces this round. Okay, this uh, next one is also one that's kind of hard to get. It has beautiful chunky knit design again on the on the sweater. It's a turtleneck, has two pockets over here. It actually comes with matching knit shorts. But personally, I just don't think I can wear those knit shorts. Just I don't have the nicest legs, so it um, doesn't really work for me. Otherwise, I would go ahead and get the set. It would be super cute um, if you have the body for it. But I think the top is still quite cute. Um, I really like the chunky knit design. I just do find I have too many of similar silhouette in my um, collection. So this is one I'm still debating a little bit. So let me know what you think of this one. And of course, all of the, all the other ones. So if you feel like I should keep this one over something else, please let me know. And I'll definitely consider your input because uh, I need some help. It, it is still getting too many. It's kind of nice for me to try them on and fold them as I do. So they're more organized and um, I can go through them one more time just for myself to see. But I love sweaters. They're like, we're in Canada. It's the one thing that we wear often all the time. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. So the next one is kind of a funny story because um, I ordered in a small in this knit vest but for some reason I received an extra extra large or an extra large anyway this is really big but for some reason when I tried it on I kind of like the look on me so I'm kind of debating maybe I should just keep this one what do you guys think I know it's like very um, it look a bit odd given the size it's not designed to be looking like this but for some reason, it has become more like a, you know, oversized knit wear with drop shoulders. I like the big colors. It it go really nicely with just something like with a turtleneck inside. Probably a pale, like a white one would look better. Just more contrast. Um, but what do you guys think? Like, should I keep this? I kind of like it. And I've been leaning towards keeping. But would love to hear what you guys think. But again, I do have so many things. I just, it's getting a bit hard to... Uh, Hard to make decisions let me know so I figure I'll just show you guys this long knit coat it's quite long this is a, a, uh, the size small but it's like all the way to the ankle I do feel like if you don't already have a knit coat in your collection this might be a nice one to have it's only $20 to be honest so it's a really nice um, price point it is just quite long like so if you're not into the long like very long 
um, garments, then this might not suit you. Um, but I think I'm leaning towards keeping. I do have another one that's in a gray color, but I think this could be a nice spring transition piece to have in the collection. Um, let me know what you think. It's almost like a coat, but it's it's a cardigan, it's a knit um, material. It's not, again, the most uh, comfortable material or, you know, but it's, um, it's okay. Like, it's still draping nicely, but it's just, uh, it's quite long. So let me know what you think. So I think we're down to the last two or three pieces. This one is a very, very cropped sweater. It's the only one in the collection that I don't have to adjust the length of it or tuck it in. So it's, it, you know, and it has shoulder pad um, uh, design. Not something that will go for everybody because it is like short and a little like chunky. Um, not for everybody, but I personally like it. I think, you know, it's a bit different than on the other ones. Um, again, not the most soft ones to your skin, but I just like the design of it. I do like anything with a shoulder pad. I like the fact I don't have to tuck in for this one. So just the cropped like look in general. I do wear a lot of high-waisted skirt and pants, so it's not a huge problem for me. It is loose in the back as well, so it's not to your body. It's not a fitted um, type, but I really like it. I like the color detail as well, so I think um, it's quite unique. So this next one is a long knit skirt, which I love because it's so comfortable and so like loose and long. You just don't have to really worry about it when you're wearing it. One of those days when you're feeling bloated or not super um, attractive, I think this is the one to go super comfortable over your skin. I think it's a nice piece to wear in the spring. If you want to feel a little bit more um, fitted, definitely you could add in a belt to send your waist. That could work very well as well. But very super comfortable. I'm just pairing with chunky Loxo boots from this round of sale as well. Um, love the neck design of it. Um, just overall really easy piece to have. I just love it. It's very similar cut to another sweatshirt that I wear, like a hunch shoes one from other videos. You could check it out. But um, anyways, one of my favorite pieces as well this year. Okay, we did it, you guys. This is the last one I'll show you today. I think there's a few things I skipped over, but if you see something and you didn't see me wearing it, let me know. I can be happy to show you. But super comfortable, long knit skirt. I mean, there's no brainer. Now being at home, this will be a perfect launch wear slash home but you could also just style it up with some nice purse with some boots and then you can go out with it as well super comfortable it does come with a hood which you can pull over but overall it's just a long um long knit shirt essentially but it's long enough it's actually go just above or around my knee length and it comes with a little pocket design here which i love a good pocket on shirts so it's just so cute Love the color of it. It's this kind of cold, um, off-white color. Um, so, super cute. All right, this is the end of it. I am surprised that I went through everything with you. Um, hope this is helpful. Hope this uh, inspires you in your own kind of outfit or design or whatever. Um, so let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you want to see more haul videos, let me know and I'll try to do more for you as well. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.